Hi, I'm Taddy Chavez, a member of Beaches Rotaract. I'm excited to be a part of the Read USA Multicultural Literacy Project. This video is made in collaboration with the Kummer Museum of Art and Gardens. I'm here in the beautiful green Italian garden at the Kummer. In the 1930s, Nina Kummer and Ellen Biddle Shipman designed this garden and brought it to life. But this was only one facet of Nina's gardening interests. She also had a radio show about gardening, gave lectures, and wrote a gardening column for the Florida Times Union. To learn more about Nina Kummer and the Italian Garden, visit the Kummer Museum of Art and Gardens. Through her love of nature and gardens, Nina Kummer played a key role in protecting and cultivating Jacksonville's green spaces. Nina reminds me of a more recent gardener who worked to cultivate green spaces in Harlem. The story is called Harlem Grown, How One Big Idea Transformed a Neighborhood by Tony Hillary with illustrations by Jesse Hartland. Once in a big city called New York in a bustling neighborhood called Harlem. Nevaeh called it the haunted garden. It was cluttered with wrecked couches, old TVs, broken bottles and empty cans. Once, in a big city, in a bustling neighborhood, there was Nevaeh's school. PS 175, it was called, and it sat across from the haunted garden. One day, a man came to PS 175. Mr. Tony, the kids called him. When Mr. Tony saw those kids and that haunted garden, he had an idea. He began to clear the haunted garden, one piece of trash at a time. Soon it was a clean slate, a blank canvas. Mr. Tony laid down new clean soil. He invited Nevaeh to help. Seeds, shovels, water. Nevaeh started to plant. Then she dug holes in the ground. Into the holes she placed her seedlings and then she carefully covered them with dirt. Her friends came too. 400 seedlings went into the ground, one for each kid. Basil, mint, cilantro, rosemary. Then the kids watered and weeded and their plants began to grow. Once when Nevaeh came to the lot after school, her plant was wilted and sad. We'll try again, said Mr. Tony. We'll plant something different. Wood, hammer, nails. Mr. Tony built raised beds for the plants. The kids tried again. Peas and broccoli, mint and eggplants. They watered and weeded. And at last, Tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, blueberries, strawberries, collard greens, kale, basil, arugula. Mr. Tony watched and helped and smiled. More kids came from the neighborhood. They tended their plants, which grew and grew. Up came more fruits and vegetables. The kids took their green beans and carrots and cucumbers home to their families for dinner. Once in a big city called New York, in a bustling neighborhood called Harlem, there was a man with an idea. There were kids who wanted to help and they made a farm. I hope you enjoyed this video exploring art and literacy here at the Kummer Museum of Art and Gardens.